They became to everyone who knew them simply Tully and Kate. And for more than 30 years, that friendship was the bulkhead of their lives. Catherine, I wanted to start with you because I read in the press notes that you came on board first and that you chose to play Tully because you thought of yourself as more of a Kate and that Tully kind of scared you. So as a fellow Kate, I'm just curious, what about Tully scared and challenged you the most? The fact that Tully doesn't apologize. <laughs> That's all I do. <laughs> I spend all day every day apologizing um, for nothing most of the time. But I thought that was so bold. I'm a goddamn legend in the making. That's right, you are. Her confidence, I guess, her self confidence and her ambition, her unapologetic ambition, was just. Um, I thought, can I, can I do this? Can I understand a woman like this? I mean, I can certainly understand it, but can I do it? Can mm -hmm. I? find that in me. And there was something so freeing about playing Tully, about embracing that part of um, sort of the divine feminine, because I think it's all part of it, isn't it? You know, being tender, being empathetic, being um, a nurturer, but there is also that other side to being a woman, which is um, in embracing yourself and loving yourself enough to know what you want want and go after it and knowing who you are and um, your truth enough to not apologize when somebody doesn't like it. Uh, it was really, it was really fun to be her. This is Tully Hart. Sarah, kind of on the other side of things, I kind of associate you seeing you in so many roles where you play that beautiful, confident, like, just like that starlet. And Kate is like, she's beautiful and gorgeous, but she has no idea. And she's kind of not to have that confidence. Um, and she's so endearing. What was it like for you to step into her adorably sweet, awkward shoes? Oh, I feel like I'm much more of Kate and um, <laughs> uh, so much awkwardness. And I feel like um, what I loved about her was, you know, getting to play all sides of her, right? Starting out with that awkward, shy, vulnerable, uncomfortable in her own skin, not sure how to be in the world, kind of fumbling over her words to really finding herself and making bold and strong choices and becoming somebody who decides, okay, no, I actually do know what I want and I'm gonna go for it. You are so much braver than me. I think that, you know, this job also came along with so many challenges that were so exciting to me that that some that I knew about when I stepped into it and some that presented themselves as we went along like you know um doing uh, you know I, I love doing the scene where Kate gives birth um it, you know obviously that's like been probably the two most powerful days in my own life and to get to portray that on on screen was a challenge and was really fun um and made me want to have 100 more babies um, but doing, you know, coming to work one day and it, all within the same day, you're dancing on a table, you're doing a scene where you're sobbing about the pain of your divorce, then maybe you're swimming naked in a pool at night in the winter in Canada. And then probably the thing that got me the most outside of my box and my comfort zone was karaoke. And I, I did, that was, those, these are things you don't know when you're walking into it. And then I got the script and I, I was supposed to rap and then it changed to singing. <laughs> and I was like, oh, but Maggie, I can't, I, I, Mrs. McKinnon kicked me out of the choir in grade five and it left like a really large mark and <laughs> I don't sing in front of anyone. And she's like, here's five songs. They've been approved. Pick one. And so we're literally driving in the car. I've got my kids in the back. My sister's driving and I had to decide that day. So I was just belting out just, I was comfortable. I was in the car. I was with my family. I'm belting out songs and my sister's very honest. She goes, no, no, not that one. I do the next one. A hundred percent no. Yeah. That's one. Not a chance. Never, <laughs> not a joke. I'm like, Piper, we're out of songs. We're out of songs. I have to pick one. So I called Maggie. I'm like, Maggie, we need a rap song. We, we, we really we need a rap song. And she's like, these are the five that are approved. It's, it's Christmas holiday starting tomorrow. So it's got to be one of these five. So it was one of those experiences of just like, here's my comfort zone. Here's singing in public. In front of <laughs> members. 